cozy reviews from my couch. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's not, welcome back, friend. So today I'm going to do a movie review on the movie Resort to Love, which is currently streaming on Netflix. It is from producer Alicia Keys. The director is Stephen K. Tashida, who is also the director for Cobra Kai. The cast are people that I have heard of before, which is good. So first we have Christina Milian, who is an actress and singer. I really like that this movie showcased her singing capabilities. I think we've been sleeping on her for way too long. Um, you might also know her from Love the Cost a Thing with Nick Cannon way, way back when. And also another rom-com on Netflix called Falling in Love. Next we have Jay Farrow who is a comedian. He was on SNL for a very long time. And Sinqua Walls who was also on Power. So the movie is definitely a rom-com. The location is some of it, I would say like a quarter of it was in New York City. The majority of the movie took place in Morris's Island, which I didn't know existed. It looks beautiful. I would definitely recommend a vacation there. So the vibe of this movie, I definitely had vacation vibes. I wanted to go on a beach vacation, um, but it was also very predictable, which a lot of rom-coms are, and that's okay. I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. What stood out the most for me was Christina Milian singing. It was amazing. Um, her The outfit choices also clutch. So the plot, Erica, who's played by Christina Milian, her life basically blows up. She has this music career she was working on and things don't go as planned. She was also engaged to Jason, who's Jay Farrell's character, and he leaves and breaks up with her. So she's dealing, at the beginning of the movie, she's dealing with all of her emotions of not being engaged, not being married, not having a music career that she thought she was going to have. So again, all of the pressure we put on ourselves to have these things. And she got a job at this resort, it's a luxury resort, as a singer. It turns out that Jay Farrow is now engaged to someone else and getting married at said resort. So it becomes very interesting. His brother Caleb, who's played by Sinqua Walls, um, comes into the picture and it becomes a little bit of a love triangle. It's not, it's not weird though, it's not weird. The movie definitely starts off very slow. It's just like, okay, it's setting it up so I get it, but it does start off slow. And it really picks up when she meets Caleb, who is intended to be her love interest. Of course, like every good rom-com, there is a glow-up montage. She comes being a bit of a grumpy pants and ends up enjoying living on the island, ends up enjoying what she's doing. What I liked about the movie, I like that it is about growth. I like, I, it was relatable to me because, you know, we put all of these expectations on ourselves and sometimes things don't go up as planned. So we just have to let go and see where it takes us. From a comedy perspective, I did chuckle, I did smile. There were parts where I caught myself smiling. Again, I didn't want to enjoy this movie, but I did. What I disliked, some parts weren't very engaging. Like I mentioned, it was very predictable, so I knew what was coming. It's not like my eyes were glued to the screen. It was just like, I could have just as easily had it in the background. <laughs> Ratings. I give Resort to Love a 3. It's it's okay. The moral of this story is you can't run from your demons. You need to face whatever it is that you're running away from. And in the end, you'll come out stronger. You'll learn what you need to learn and you can move on with your life. So Resort to Love, have you seen it? What did you think? Do you like rom-coms? Is there another rom-com that I should maybe be watching? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos and you wanna see more of my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications. All right, until next time, friends.